this, what's going to happen after uh, Jerome Powell speaks today, which is a key event. We're here on the four hour uh, chart. Uh, at the bottom, I've got the Williams uh, percent R indicator, which is uh, a momentum oscillator and uh, it can and may indicate on overbought and oversold. Here we might be in an oversold territory. I'll get this out of the way now. And here on this uh, key uh, high of 27th of July, high of 4,607, uh, I've put and anchored VWAP and uh, this purple line is the VWAP and price is right there. Okay, so why does this matter? Because other algos and traders that may be looking at, at this may see a fair price or a, a, a near ideal price to take profit and to sell. So some partial profit taking is uh, uh, ripe for this uh, stage. I'm going to remove this here. And we've got these lines, this blue line through uh, that high that I mentioned and the 4,541. And we may actually get there. That would be around 4,424 or so. We also have this uh, gap over here that is between uh, 20th of September and 21st of September. So we actually price did get to the bottom of that gap, but it may still get to the top of the gap, which is a, by definition, a closing of the gap that is at 4,402.21. So that would be a, a slight uh, breakout from this red line that is also, that appears here and they're, they're, my lines are very uh, precise here so you can trust them uh, and to get to that, fill the gap and then go down for a failed breakout. So this whole area right now is looking like a potential zone for a bearish reversal, at least for my money. And uh, basically, if you see this area, we can also get to there, at least to the top of that area. Okay. And then possibly later break this up. But in any case, after uh, a seven, maybe eight day rally today, if we get it, uh, then this is a rare rally, a sequence of at least seven days doesn't happen often in the market. And uh, we are ready here for some partial profit taking as mentioned. I would be watching out for a bearish reversal, at least a temporary one. If we break above that blue line, so break above 4,430, then the bulls look to be home free, might go retest as well, but then we are looking for uh, um, basically a, a break of this high later, okay? So in summary, my tendency is for a bearish move and I'll be changing my premise at 4,400, 300, 4,430, sorry, possibly after a retest of this blue line, which you can draw on your charts. Do follow Forex Live for additional perspectives to see what's next for the S&P 500. This has been an SPX technical analysis. Thank you.